This is Jamie with That's Incredible, and today we're going to be making a card with this Mama Elephant Hogs and Kisses stamp set. I stamped these pigs a while ago, and just have never done anything with them, so tonight I thought I would put them together on a card. So the colors that I used to color the pigs are 42, R11, R triple zero and R double zero. And then of course my balloons were just a variety of colors. I'm gonna start off with just a blank piece of white cardstock. This measures three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm gonna use this piece as my background. And I'm gonna start off by using this uh, Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous Layering Stencil. And I am going to start off by making my background. But first I want to take a little bit of painter's tape and I want to tack down the template so it does not move on me. There we go. And then I'm going to be using my picket fence brushes, life-changing brushes with some Distress Oxide inks. And for this today we're going to have scattered straw and spiced marmalade. I'm going to start off with the scattered straw. Little scratch paper here. And I'm just gonna rub lightly down here towards the bottom. Okay. Then I'm going to take some of the spiced marmalade. And I'm just going to go a little over what I've already done and keep blending up. In a circular motion. And I think I'm going to bring in some worn lipstick for the top of these rays. Grab that real quick. There we go. Grab another brush here. And just bring some worn lipstick around the edges. Now when I move my card, I get these rays. Now I'm going to just kind of shift these a little so I can get one more color added here and I think I'm going to go with some fossilized amber. All over that area. There we go. I sure like how that looks. Okay, set my Distress Ink, those ones, aside. And this just wipes off nicely with a baby wipe. Okay, just 
set that aside. Now I'm going to take some vintage photo and I'm going to create some ground using my favorite things cloud stencil. Oh, some vintage photo and I'm just going to make what appears to be dirt and I'll take some brown and bring it up on the bottom and kind of there we are have a nice little ground and this template also just wipes off with a baby wipe here we are so there is my background that I will be putting my pigs on. Um, I want to add a little bit of dimension, so I'm going to use a uh, Copic Marka e E25 to add a little dimension, and I'm going to spritz it, my background, with a little bit of water so that I can pick up some of that ink and give it another little effect. So I have a Close to My Heart spritz bottle. I'm just going to squeeze slowly so I get a variety of drops. Give that a second to soak up. And go ahead and blot. And that just gives it a little bit of dimension there. Perfect. So now I'm going to set my pigs and kind of decide where I want them to go because I would like to stamp the sentiment right onto my background. Kind of decide. This little guy looks like he's flying in the air. Give him a couple balloons. There we are. And this little girl, we'll have her here. Oh. And bring these down just a little. There we go. She'll hold this balloon. And then have our flying pig. And it's okay if it goes off the edge a little because I have this cut smaller than my card base. All right, so I think that's kind of how we'll have it laid out and we'll add some dimension by popping those up. But first I want to add my sentiment. And I think I'm going to say, Pig Birthday Wishes. Take that off. Get my stamp platform out. And I think I want it to be right about here. So we'll go ahead and take all of my pigs off of there. Get my platform open. And just fold it right about there. And I'll use Momento Tuxedo Black ink for my sentiment. Stamp it twice for good measure. 
There we are. All right, now I think we are ready to assemble our card. For this card to add some dimension, I'm going to use some fun foam, just a scrap piece of white fun foam. And I'm gonna cut it down to the same size, three and a quarter by five. so that it'll pop up and still stay flat while I'm mailing it. Have my Tombow adhesive. Oh, that one ran out. Of course, just because I'm on video. to layer that piece right on top. I have a little edge sticking out here, so I'm gonna just trim that off. There we go. And then with that E25 marker, I'm going to add a little bit more dimension to my dirt that the pigs are sitting in by just adding some dots in the darker areas. Just to give it that illusion that it's dirt and not clouds, obviously. There we are. Here's all of my pigs and everything. So I think I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna move from left to right. So I'm gonna lay this pig down first. And he is going to hold the blue balloon, but I'm gonna add a little foam dot underneath the blue balloon so that it is popped up a little. I'm gonna have it in his hand and tucked behind his ear just a little bit. Then, just for that handle, I'm gonna use a little bit of this art glitter glue. Just put a dab of glue underneath there because it does dry clear. There we are. And then I think we'll add this little piggy and we'll pop her up with some little foam dots. I did not color her little bow, so I think we're gonna make it purple with V15. There we are. And then we have this little guy laying down like he owns the place. There we go. I think I'll have this little girl. Now her balloon is gonna be right about there. So we wanna make sure, maybe I'll put her balloon down first and then I'll decide where she's gonna go. So I don't accidentally cover up my sentiment. Okay, her balloon can go right there. means she can hold her balloon right there. 
and put a little bit of our glitter glue and hold that for just a second. There we are. And then we have our one little pig. Maybe he'll be flying in front of that balloon. And I'll use two foam dots for this one so that he sticks up out past that pink balloon. There we are. Now before I add these last three balloons, I'm going to put my card on the base so I can make sure that I do not have those balloons sticking up past the top of the card, so I'll have to cut those balloon strings down a little. And I just have some basil cardstock here in light blue. Go ahead and put this down. Give that a good press. There we are. So my balloons are going to be pretty short. Go ahead and stick them down. I'll just have to use a little bit bigger. Maybe if I bring him down just a little. There we go. Put this piece of foam tape right there. Excuse my head. All right. And then I'm just going to put a little glue on the back of this one because I don't want to pop it up any further. There we are. There. Now we have the illusion that he's flying away for his birthday. And voila! There is our completed card. Thank you for stopping by and have an incredible day.